transperineal prostate biopsies under local anesthesia. Prostate cancer is the most diagnosed non-skin cancer in North America and the second leading cause of cancer death in men. Approximately one in seven men will be diagnosed with this disease in their lifetime. Despite the use of MRI and other imaging modalities, the management of prostate cancer still relies on a histological diagnosis, usually via transrectal ultrasound-guided biopsy. However, infection risk, as estimated in the most recent AUA white paper, is between 5 and 7% due to the risk of transferring fecal coliform bacteria from the rectum. 2 to 4% of men who undergo a truss biopsy will be admitted to the hospital despite receiving prophylactic antibiotics. The rise in drug-resistant bacteria have resulted in increased hospital costs after transrectal biopsies secondary to emergency room visits and hospital admissions. There is also a low but definitive mortality rate secondary to sepsis following transrectal prostate biopsies. A transperineal approach significantly reduces post-biopsy complications with a cancer detection rate, or CDR, comparable or greater than transrectal prostate biopsies. The significantly lower infection rate improves patient outcomes. The transperineal approach has more commonly been performed under general or spinal anesthetic, but with a quick learning curve, can be performed under local anesthesia in approximately 10 to 12 minutes. The time and cost of a spinal or general anesthetic has been a barrier to the widespread use of transperineal prostate biopsies. Local anesthetic transperineal prostate biopsy, or LATP, just takes a couple more minutes than the transrectal biopsy to perform. This technique makes it a good fit for a busy urological practice with the added potential of improving patient safety and outcomes. Accordingly, we set out to evaluate local anesthetic transperineal prostate biopsies. The aim was to reduce the infective complications of transrectal biopsies, yet to preserve or increase the diagnostic sensitivity. We have published the results of a study of 1,287 men who underwent LATP. We reported on patient tolerability in a sample of 511 men using the Visual Analog Scale, or VAS. The tolerability of LATP was similar to truss biopsy. Since then, we have adopted an exclusively transperineal approach to prostate biopsies in our practice. Patient-centered workflow is essentially the same for LATP as for a truss biopsy. The procedure is discussed with the patient and informed consent obtained. In our study, antibiotic prophylaxis was a single 500 milligram dose of cefuroxime or ceflexin. Patients with severe penicillin allergies received sulfamethoxazole and we did not use quinolones. Patients with cardiac valve replacements received two grams of ampicillin and 120 milligrams of genomycin intravenously prior to the procedure. Patients are placed in the dorsal lithotomy position, prepared with iodine, and appropriately draped. We use the ProFocus 2202 ultrasound scanner and biplanar ultrasound probe. The transrectal ultrasound probe is introduced once the patient is positioned. Probe insertion was one of the four aspects of LATP we surveyed for tolerability. Patients rated it a 2.4 out of a possible 10. Skin infiltration of local anesthesia was rated as the least comfortable step in transperineal biopsy at 3.1 out of 10. We used a 25 gauge 1.5 inch needle to anesthetize the perineum and subcutaneous tissues with 1% lidocaine solution lateral to the midline at approximately mid-gland of the right and left lobes of the prostate. Two 14-gauge IV cannulas are then placed to allow repeated access of the biopsy needle. We also anesthetize the periprostatic tissue with 10 cc's of 1% lidocaine given through a 22-gauge 5-inch spinal needle. On average, patients rated their discomfort at 3.0 out of 10. 
Biopsies were done using the Bard Magnum gun and an 18 gauge 20 centimeter Bard biopsy needle, taking a minimum of 10 cores. Samples were taken from the anterior apex, anterior base, posterior apex and base, and the right and left mid lateral prostate using a freehand technique. MRI fusion biopsies enable targeted procedures which have a higher yield of significant cancers which need to be treated. These biopsies can easily be completed under local anesthesia. The procedure takes slightly longer and is slightly less comfortable for the patients. With LATP, the cancer detection rate in our study was 49.8%, which represented 641 out of 1,287 patients. Of these, 60% had significant prostate cancer with a Gleason score of 7 or above or a grade group 2 or higher. 9.7% had cancer exclusively in the anterior zone, of which 4.7% or 30 patients had grade group 2 or higher. This region of the prostate is not routinely biopsied with a truss biopsy and likely accounts for a higher CDR. Local anesthetic transperineal prostate biopsy is a feasible alternative to a transrectal prostate biopsy to detect prostate cancer. It is safer for patients due to the low risk of complications, in particular urosepsis, and it is well tolerated and thus is a better alternative to transrectal biopsy for the initial diagnosis of prostate cancer.